want you to come back next week with a testimony. And you people, I want to teach you something. Can I teach you something? When people stand against you, criticize you, speak against you, don't ever speak back. Are you hearing me? Huh? I don't know if you are hearing me. When people are speaking against you, lying against you, saying whatever they are saying about you, I want to tell you a message. Keep quiet. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying to you. Did you hear what I said? This is my message for you. That if there are people that they find pleasure in lying about other people. You know, because God now wants to make you a topic of town, people are going to speak a lot about you. You, hold your Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Let me repeat for the last time before we close. There are many people that will speak so many things against you. One man said, if people never loved Jesus, who are you? Someone who came to die for them. They still persecuted him, lie against him, say this and that. But I never read anywhere where Jesus responded. Same thing applies to me and you. You, are going to, you hear stories, story after story, story after story. There are agents of Satan in the church. You are hearing me? And you agent of Satan. I want to give you for a few days. God will expose you. I say, God will expose you. Why do you speak? If this one comes to you and tell you a story, ask that person, were you there? Ask them. That's why now no one can ever come to me and tell me a story. I'll ask you a question. Info, tell me, were you there when were you around? Then how do you know? You are an agent of Satan. This week, as I'm stretching my hand to you, let us avoid the agents of Satan. They are looking for your soul. They want to drink your blood. But I see Jesus lifting you up. I see the Holy Spirit say, not my children. Let me tell you this. Whatever you hear with your ears, it affects your spirit. Whatever you hear, it affects your spirit. Because words are very dangerous. That's the this is in why the Bible says a wise man must learn to hold his tongue. Amen. Hold your tongue. Tell your neighbor, hold your tongue. Hold you must learn to hold your tongue. Because sometimes you speak things that are not even there. You end up even speaking things against. The, the favorites of God. Remember, when, when Miriam and Aaron, when they were gossiping about the wife of Moses, God went there and said, I heard you people. I heard you. I heard you. 
And because of what you said against my own servant, punishment is coming your way. Some of us here, one reason why our things are not opening up is because of what you hear and what you speak. You are still going to watch people succeeding in front of you. The Lord went to them. The Bible says God was angry. How do you speak about my servant like this? And listen, the, the, the true story is that Miriam and Aaron, they were not speaking about Moses. They were speaking about his wife. But listen to God when he go to them. Why do you speak about my servant like this? Tell your neighbor, hold your tongue. Whatever you say, it will come after you. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Let's clap hands for Jesus.